Hey everyone, it's Patch 3.22 Answers here, and I want to tell you that the impending Doom bug has been fully fixed finally. Yesterday we got confirmation that it was going to be fixed in the next patch, and last night it was finally pushed through. And if we look at the patch notes themselves, DG has basically stated that the behavior was intended, but because this was not listed and because people didn't know about this, a lot of people end up playing impending Doom without actually knowing about it and effectively got baited into playing the build but because of that and because so many people are playing it they've reinstated the old behavior for the remainder of the season but this will be fixed in the next patch this means if you want to play this build play it now this build will basically be gone next season it'll still be fine obviously i've played through the next season version of it for the past few days or so and it's been completely fine. I've had no problems. But if you want to experience this build at the most broken it will ever be, this is the time to play it. We have tattoos, which is going to be disgusting. We have Sanctum coming back. So we have Sandstorm Visage and we have Balance of Terror. We have Eternal Damnation. We have every single possible thing that makes this build super, super broken. So if you want to play this, I implore you to play it now as you'll never get to experience this build ever again, unfortunately. If you want to quickly look in game, we can see that the overlaps are now working as intended. As you can see, the far and the close those spell cascades are overlapping in the center as well as you can see i'm doing three hits previously these two overlaps would happen maybe around here so it'd be very very far only the edges of the circles would overlap together and as we can see now we are getting perfect overlaps in the middle this means that if you want to have optimal single target dps no longer do you have to aim behind an enemy like this and this actually makes you overall lose dps if you want to use the bear as an example what you would be doing if this is a boss is you would just be name locking and that means you'll just be hovering over the enemy and having their nameplate show at the top and then starting your cast. And this will make it so your cast is perfectly cast on the pixel that the enemy is standing on and you'll always get perfect overlaps. And it's also true with Awakened Spell Cascade. And because of this, Awakened Spell Cascade is now a 66% DPS increase over normal Spell Cascade because we now get an overlap on the left and overlap on the right, giving us a massive, massive damage boost. Now, do I still recommend people to go get Awakened Spell Cascade? No. It's very expensive. It's only going to get worse. So I would stay clear of it, but make sure you put Spell Cascade back in your links if you're not currently using Spell Cascade. I hope you have fun at the build. I hope you enjoy it. I've been having an absolute blast playing it this season, even in the under version. I played a little bit this morning with it before I made this video, and I will say it's night and day difference. I have gone from kind of quickly killing bosses to they die so quickly now. It's an absolutely massive difference really makes the build feel good and it's it's just going to make it feel really really strong for the whole season one thing i want to quickly mention is if you're not able to one tap because one tapping is also back with this make sure you have enough cast speed in the description below i'll be linking the spreadsheet for cast speed and cdr and make sure you're following it to the t as long as you're doing that you should get your one taps back and you should have a really really comfortable experience while mapping that's all i really have for this video i hope you kitties enjoyed the build and i hope to see you guys in the next video